Happy New Year! We're kicking it off with a snowstorm and going shopping. <laughs> Stop to get some Subway. Oh yeah! Thank you so much. You're welcome. Can't believe it's 2022. I know that's so utterly unimaginative to say, but it just feels like time has gone by so fast. I say it goes faster as you get older. Again, another cliche. I always bring this up with my friends, but there's like the study where, uh, like, what, the more you're learning, the slower time feels. So. If you want time to slow down a little, you just gotta keep learning stuff. Yeah, I'm excited. The sponsor? No. Subway? Yeah, Subway spawn. <laughs> My friends are doing a virtual noodle night, although I already had dinner, so I'm not participating, so I'm just watching my friends cook instant noodles purely for the hangout. Hey. Hey. If you have a good sleep. So we've been doing cloth diapers now with Marla for I think over two months and we like it. We're sticking to it. Overnight we'll do disposables for peace of mind and also because Marla sleeps from 10, 11 p.m. all the way to like 8 pretty much. So there's not really a moment to conveniently change your diaper in the middle of the night. Ta-da! <laughs> there you go. Marla got a few new outfits for Christmas, so trying to wear all the sweater type ones while it's still sweater weather. What do you think about that? That's you. I generally start every day with feeding Marla first thing in the morning and then once she's all changed and I don't know, cleaned up. I will make myself a slice of toast and then she can just hang out. It's definitely convenient for now because she doesn't crawl. So wherever I put her, she stays and I will probably have to refigure out this system once that change happens. But for now, this is my quiet morning time with toast and I love it. to get my daily co-pilot session in. Today I'm doing full body resistance training. I just click on the workout and then at the top it shows me the items I'm going to need. So first I'm going to gather those. because as you can hear, Marla's awake. And uh, I think I have to feed her. I didn't get the timing quite right, but I will get back to this as soon as I'm ready. been able to actually stick to this is because it is designed so that my workout results and data are sent to my trainer so she can see exactly if and when I've done my workouts and she has developed my entire workout plan to suit my exact goals 
fitness level, the home equipment that I have available. There's no more of me looking on YouTube to find like a workout video that might suit me, hopefully. And knowing that she can see that I've done it is pretty much the kind of accountability that I need in order to stick to something like this because I'm, I'm just not very good at working out. The way it worked is I did a quiz and I was matched with my trainer, Darian. We had an onboarding call together where I came ready to talk about my personal goals, which were to work on core strength, back strength, tone my upper arms, and also do the front back splits because why the heck not? Most of those goals was because Marla is a big girl, like, She's in the 90th percentile in length, weight, everything. And I just wanted to feel strong enough to keep up with the demands of picking her up, carrying her around, caring for her. I wanna feel physically strong when I'm with her instead of physically tired. And if a workout plan was gonna be able to make that happen for me, I was very open to that. After goals, we talked about the home equipment I had to work with so she could shape the workout based on what I actually own instead of workout supplies that I don't. And I also told her I was open to buying anything that would improve my workout tools collection. So she recommended these bands and I got those too. And then we talked about workout schedule, the dreaded expectations versus reality. I found it actually was so nice to just be honest with my trainer about my expectations versus reality problems. And it was reassuring to know that we could just start somewhere, shape it as we go. Because she's a professional trainer, she knows the types of things that tend to be realistic or not realistic. So it was easy to trust her that our first stab would be pretty much in the ballpark of where we should be headed. My physical fitness has always been very sporadic and I think it's just because in the past I would go look for some videos on YouTube and I would not know if they were like the correct difficulty level for me, if they were really moving me closer towards my own fitness goals. If I found one that I really loved, eventually I would get bored of watching the same video over and over so it was hard to have variety. And also if I skipped certain parts or just ended the video early or didn't have good form, no one would know. If you relate to any of those struggles, I really think Copilot is worth giving a try. Now I feel so much more motivated to work out because I can see myself getting closer to my goals. I have confidence coming into it that the workout difficulty is correct for me because a professional trainer put it together for me. And I definitely don't skip any sections or end early unless there's some sort of like parenting emergency because the Apple Watch is recording my data and telling my trainer how I did on all my reps. If you guys wanna check out Copilot, I have a really special deal for you. Click the link in the description and you will get your own Copilot for just over 30% off forever. That is a special deal for my followers, $89 per month instead of their $129 per month indefinitely, you just lock that deal in and you also will get a 14 day free trial to test it out so you can decide if you like it before you commit. Whew, okay, at the end of every workout, this little screen will appear. It'll ask you for a few ratings, the difficulty level, how you felt about the workout, how you felt about the app, and you can leave some comments as well. Whatever ratings I put in here, Darian looks at them and adjusts my workouts accordingly, which is so great. And in the comment section, I'll mention specific things like if one rep had too many squats for me to handle. If I don't have anything to say, which is often, I'll just say thank you so much, Darian, for the great workout. And then I will click submit. Darian and I have an extensive chat log with all my workouts, her comments, me sharing what parts were great, what parts were difficult, video videos to encourage me, messages asking me, am I going to work out today? <laughs> the accountability is real, but I appreciate it. And even though my workout schedule kind of landed on the easier side of what I thought I would be able to do, I've realized it's just better for me to be realistic and successful at that instead of setting lofty goals and constantly feeling like I'm not meeting them. Got my workout done this week. I have a whole bunch of full body workouts. We've settled on me doing stretches every other day. And that's what's been working for me. I'm just putting together. She's really chatty today. Just putting together some dinner today on the menu. I'm going to be cooking some fish. So I've got that defrosting in the sink. And then here in the instant pot. I'm waiting to turn it on. There's like some cauliflower florets that I'm gonna steam in there. And also in the oven, 
butternut squash. It's been very fun to cook some things that I've gotten out of the habit of cooking because we're trying to like give Marla a lot of diverse flavors and <laughs> veggies to try before she uh, starts like saying no or getting picky. We just want her to have a big open palate. The other challenge cooking for Marla is it's better to not add salt or sugar if possible and so I always have to like cook things in a way where there's like a side exit for the thing she's gonna eat to be created and then I continue with the bulk of the items down the road that Dan and I will eat it. We put Marla to bed and she finally fell asleep. So we're just enjoying some quiet parent time. I think I'm just gonna like play some Animal Crossing or something tonight. Oh my goodness. It's good though. It's good balance. We're heading out to do some errands today, trying to make the most of the weekends. And uh, we don't own a car, we just use like a car share thing, so we've gotten into a very good rhythm of doing it and hopefully soon we can have a car because I think that's like a thing that helps you with having kids. Ever since I got pregnant, I've been reading way more books than I ever have in my whole life and I think it's because I didn't grow up with a ton of baby experience and I just wanted to like read what the experts were saying, what the science was, help me make better choices for my future since I have the opportunity to shape my future with Marla, our future with Marla. And I'm reading a book right now called French Kids Eat Everything. It's written from the perspective of someone who moved with their family to France for one year. They came from Canada, so I was like, oh, that's close to home. And they had culture shock regarding food and children eating food when they were in France. They adjusted over the course of their one year there. And then when they came back to Canada, they had like reverse culture shock at the Canadian and North American norms of how children eat food. Anyways, one of the French food rules is to sit at a table and eat. And uh, here's my errand meal. <laughs> but it's, it's just like that these days. It won't like be like this forever. I don't understand why this Hillroy sign is upside down. Any wisdom? Tonight, I am eating dinner by myself for once. Some bok choy and chicken and napa cabbage that my mom cooked for me. I know, it looks so appetizing, but I truly love my mom's cooking. It is my comfort food. What else do we have? Stuffed peppers. I made these myself. This is literally the smallest peppers, uh, but I did it. Hi, Sangwa. I was just enjoying my dinner and then I realized it's so quiet. So I thought this is the right time to do a little vlogging. The reality is it has been an interesting challenge to vlog this month. I just spend a lot of time around the house basically half dressed since if you're not going outside and the most constant thing you have to take care of is a baby who needs to be fed or whatever, being comfortable and like physically available to the baby is pretty much the easiest way to go. But Marla is six months old now. She's on a pretty predictable daily schedule. And that's a big part of why I have felt a lot more excited to come on here, talk to you guys, share how things are going. Marla has been growing two little teeth. It's too soon, I'm sad. I think she's been a little fussier than usual because when the teeth are coming in, it's a whole new feeling and it scares them. Okay. It hurts, huh? It hurts. It's okay. Who's there in the screen? Ah. <laughs> okay. Let's get you set up, a seat at the table. There you go. All right, you ready? I'll be back with your veggies. Carrot.
her to appetize it. Would you like a parsnip? There you go. You guys, I'm, I'm so proud of her. She used to have so little hand control that she didn't even know her hands were her own hands. She just thought they were these chaotic flying fists. And now she can pick up a fry and feed herself. Today I'm chopping up some zucchini, one parsnip. We're preparing to go out of town, so I'm trying to empty the fridge and hence the supplies are dwindling. One red onion. Bobo loves dumplings. Bobo likes xiaolongbao. You ready? Bobo the red panda is very hungry today and can't wait to eat. Xiaolongbao Bobo today is very hungry and can't wait to eat. Xiao Xiao Mao Bobo today is very hungry and can't wait to eat. Xiao Xiao Mao Bobo today is very hungry and can't wait to eat. Xiao Xiao Mao Bobo today is very hungry and can't wait to eat. You're moving my trap. Oh, see, there's you. Tonight on the menu, I'm making some udon noodles. I have medium boiled some eggs. I'm gonna eat it with various veggies and call it a day. I had planned to pack tonight, but now I'm just really tired. And then, of course, I spend my very last few ounces doing a little pandemic baking. Normally at this time, I would have really pushed myself to pack. Um, all right, all right. I'm kind of in a new mindset because of some therapy that I took before I had Marla, and tonight was just one of those nights where I was like, the better thing to do is to rest and recharge. Dishwasher's running, things are baking. I'm sitting on the kitchen floor and I'm just getting to have a moment to myself. See you guys tomorrow. Time to pack for me, Dan, a baby, first time traveling on a plane, and Sagwa, staying over at the grandparents. Okay, I like to put all of the different types of clothes in their own stacks and then they all go inside fabric bags so that they just all have their own bundle inside the luggage. Alrighty, all of my things are packed, Marla's things are packed, some of Dan's stuff is packed, and he just finished work, so he's gonna wrap up the rest. It's been a very long time since I've actually had to pay attention to my liquids. The way I sneak in a little bit of extra skincare outside of the liquids bags is I find the airport never counts the flat sample packages as liquids. So every time I get one of these in like a Sephora order or anything, I don't use it right away. <laughs> I save it and stash it in this bag and bring it for travel. story time. This is Marla napping on me and moments later I notice my leg is wet, my seat is wet, carrier is wet. I am sitting in an airplane slowly having her poop and pee drip out the carrier onto my lap and onto the seat below me.
After all my research and prep, I forgot to pack a backup outfit. But uh, this is what we got. Dan literally took the shirt off of his own back. Please feel free to rate his DIY in the comments. And uh, if you're ever flying with a baby, don't forget the backup outfit. Do you have anything to say for yourself, Marla? Oh my gosh, she just pooped again. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> we're in Vancouver. Last few days has just been chilling out. I got my nails done. I've been looking for like this night light, nice light jade color. It's aquarium day. Thank you. 